All right, my friends. I kind of went down a rabbit hole with this one. I started off this morning just to see what I would need for parts to build this saw. And before I knew it, I had a saw. Uh, I have a side case. I'm not going to bother putting it on. There's no point. It is absolutely soaked in... I mean, have to look at that. But... Alright, the choke doesn't stay out. I'll have to look into that. So, not going to make you watch me crack my guts out on that. I found out two things. One, somebody had that flywheel off. And when they put it back on, they didn't line up the uh, keyway. And the key is made right into that flywheel. So, that's why it was it's a little crooked. I got a clip, I'll show that. And uh, I put it back on, and it's on straight now. They didn't damage it too much. But it still won't start. No fire whatsoever now. So I think... I think the... Uh, the coil's fucked. Now I don't know if it's because I put it in the parts washer. If that's causing issues. Or what. But I'll get an aftermarket coil. I think it's $37. I'll stick on it. And I'm probably going to keep that saw for myself. So I'm going to take that coil. I'm going to set it somewhere safe. A year or so from now, maybe I'll try it again. See if it's just soaked. Uh, if it did fault, there's a good chance that uh, it, it'll never work again. Because if being in the parts washer faulted it, what's happened is there's cracks and stuff in there that the oil's worked into. And if it worked into them, water will do the same thing. So the coil's no good. Uh... That's pretty much it. Until I get some parts, it's it's in the repair pile. But everything's done on it. I have a barn chain here for it. Um, what I might do on a future video is add a purge ball to that. I think I can do it. I think there's enough room to put that purge blade in. I just got to find a spot to cut a little hole for the, for the primer. Anyway, that's it for that one. For now, there will be another video coming out whenever I get the coil. So, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. After a little closer inspection, and it was acting like it was out of time, it looked like the flywheel wasn't quite centered. Like, you see the gap there? Hardly anything. Watch, see it gets bigger. Now look here. Gap over there. No gap there. So I think this has cut the pin. I'll have to pull that off, and I might end up putting the one off the uh, off of the partner in it. I don't know uh, if it has a key or if the key's made right into it. That'll determine what I do. So I'll get this apart, and I'll get back to you.